I have 15 plants in my room right now. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Joey. So today, I want to do a thrift haul for you guys because you guys go crazy over this stuff. Even I do. I got a whole bunch of stuff today. Actually, me and my sister went out shopping today, and I spent like 100 something dollars. And I just got this new platform bed that I'm actually filming on right now. I wanted to decorate it up and spice it up a little bit. So I went out and got some decor for underneath and on top. So this really isn't related to my bed or anything, but this is related to my room. I got some incense from Five Below, and I got some sage and some sandalwood. The sandalwood is like this sweet, but like musky type smell. All right, so I didn't buy this, but I actually got this for Christmas. I got this Mexican siesta blanket, and I've always wanted one of these, and these, this goes really, really good on my new bed. At night, uh, I always bring up drinks to my room. So I got these wicker, like, really awesome, like, nice designed wicker coasters and these actually came with a basket and it came in this little holder thing whenever i first opened it i saw that there was another layer and i thought it was another basket and i was going to use them to stack but this actually is cooler because i've always needed coasters so it looks like this it has this like a really great awesome design on it so i was in goodwill and i saw this little um indian culture pot and i thought it was one of the cutest things that anyone could have bought there's actually another one somewhere. I have to find it first. This one has more of like a me feel, like this little pattern and um, a little white strip. That looks more like something I would put in my room, but they're both really, really cute. I'm probably gonna put those like um, on a shelf somewhere where I don't have anything else or probably above my little um, shelving unit. If you guys want an updated room tour, cause my room is completely different. Like every piece of furniture is different in my room except for my uh, cubes. Um, Give this video a thumbs up because I would gladly do one of those again. So like I said, I got a platform bed and underneath there's cubbies. And I actually went to Home Goods and got these little gold baskets for fairly cheap. They were like $13 if I can get them out. They're these really awesome like wire ones with these little labels in the front. Probably for like some type of drawer unit, but I thought they were good for um, under my bed for like my camera gear and stuff. So then I got this fabric bin for under my bed as well. And that was from Walmart and it was like $8 and it was really, really cheap. And I'm excited to put like little knickknacks in here. I actually got this a while ago, but I got this salt lamp, but I love Himalayan salt lamps. They're like the coolest thing in the world. All right, speaking of crystals, uh, I got from Home Goods again, this selenite point. And I, whenever I saw this, I flipped out. I have a selenite wand but I've never had a circular selenite point. And whenever I saw this, I was like, I have to get this. This was $8, but I was in love with it. I couldn't pass it up. So obviously I have an obsession with some tea lights, but I got this rose quartz tea light holder, which was so freaking cool. I saw it in TJ Maxx and I was like, what, they sell this kind of stuff here? <laughs> my family actually doesn't ever go to TJ Maxx because we don't, like the style of TJ Maxx isn't my family style. My family likes rustic stuff, but I don't. And so my room is completely different than theirs. And it is like TJ Maxx is the place to go. <laughs> All right, so this one I didn't get from Goodwill or anywhere today. I actually got this from my dad. This big bamboo salad bowl, and I actually keep like my GoPro gear in there from Christmas and uh, some other cameras, like I have my vlogging camera. Some chargers, um, some mounts and stuff like that, but this was under my bed. All right, so this is the part of the video that I have been wanting to get to. As you guys know, I love plants. I have a plant obsession. I have, I think, a total of like 18 plants in my room. So from Goodwill, I got this plant stand because I have needed a plant stand like this for a long time, even though actually the plants that I bought today are not going to fit on this. Um, I'm still going to keep this because I've always needed like a plant stand. And if this doesn't work, this can still go under my uh, little floating nightstand that I have to put like little knickknacks or like some books on or something. All right, so as you guys can see behind me, I have this big, beautiful hanging plant. And I'm a sucker for hanging plants and like tall plants. I like trees and vines. Those are my favorite ones, not like little grass. Spider plants I can get down to, but anything else I'm really just like... I don't know. I went to Home Depot and got this English ivy plant, which is beautiful. I've been eyeing this for so long. Um, my family has been renovating recently, so I'm always at Home Depot. And um, I was looking at this particular plant for so long, and I was like, I don't know if I want to buy it. It's $8. And I finally bought it, and I'm so happy that I did because it's so beautiful. I also got this from Home Depot, but I got this snake plant ugh, from Home Depot for about $15. I actually have seen snake plants all over Pinterest and Tumblr for the longest time, and I've always wanted one. And so whenever I saw this, I was like, it's fate. 
There's also like a banana tree there that I was like, oh, I might have to get that, but I got this one instead because I've always wanted this and I'd finally be getting one that I've always wanted. All right, so you guys should have seen this one in my how to be happy video in the background, but this is a Drusena Marginata. My bed has dirt all over it now, so that's good. So the good thing about snake plants, back to snake plants, is that they are very tough plants. And I actually wanted this for a little place beside my bed. Snake plants don't need a ton of light and they are very drought resistant. So you can let these things dry for months and they will not get wilted. This plant's really beat up and battered, but I wanted them like that. I think plants with this kind of pers like personality to them are the best because once you bring them back, you're like, look at this, like I, this, this was this, but now it's a beautiful, luscious plant and you can like bring them back and, and just, it's just gonna be a beautiful plant. This is called a snake plant, mother-in-law's tongue. Drusena marginata is also another drought resistant, low light plant. This is in an indirect corner of my room where there's like no light there. And actually, I have watered this two times since I've had it and I've had it for over probably a month, so. That's that. Also on the Drusena Marginata for another part of this haul, I got some deco lights, which are fairy lights, as you guys call them. And those were $5 at Walmart. That's a good deal. Um, they look really, really good and they're super bright too. Okay, so that was the haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. I love doing um, room decor things. I think I want to be an interior designer whenever I'm older because my room always looks A1. Except for my shelves, they're always really cluttered. I need to work on those. <laughs> Anyways, guys. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, uh, look out for more videos, uh, yeah. Also, if you want to do a room tour, like this video, I want to do another room tour, that'd be cool. So, I love you, subscribe, and stay happy, hippie, I love you, goodbye.